It may be hard to believe, but toothbrushes have gone high tech. So much so I've put together a series on the blog and the YouTube channel with all of the options, but the one we're going to look at today has to be one of the most unusual. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and today I'm checking out this device. It's the Blizzident. Despite the fact it's not battery powered, it doesn't charge up or use your smartphone's camera or even send you data, this is one of the most high-tech toothbrushes I've come across. Here's why. The Blizzident toothbrush is a mouth guard shaped giant mono brush. It's custom made from a 3D scan of your mouth to fit you exactly and all of your teeth individually. And as a result, you can brush your whole mouth in six seconds. Blizzident is made from a hard plastic that's shaped to fit your mouth. Individual bristles are inserted into the horseshoe shaped gadget and they're angled precisely to clean each of your teeth so they get into all the cracks and crevices. You put some toothpaste in your mouth, pop the device in and bite or chew on it for about six seconds. Voila, clean teeth all at once. Before I used my Blizzident for the first time, the company advised me to watch some of their YouTube videos to see exactly how to use it properly. Now I did that, but I still had a bit of a hard time getting used to it, especially in those early days. For starters, it's because it's very big. It fills up your entire mouth and it's pretty rigid, so it's not gonna bend or give when you're trying to fit it in. So it does take some getting used to. Essentially, you need to slide one side of the Blizzident into the center of your mouth. I am ha ha ha. So the big question is, how well does the Blizzident clean? And I have to say I was really surprised and impressed with the job that it did. I think it's thanks to all of these little bristles. But when I brushed my teeth with the Blizzident for those first few times in particular, I really noticed let's say the amount of debris in the sink when I spit out the toothpaste afterwards, it was really noticeable that it was doing a better job. And I think that's because it does have so many more bristles. It's really getting in all those nooks and crannies that my regular toothbrush just can't get into. In order to get yourself a custom made Blizzident brush, you'll need a model of your teeth. The easiest way is to find a dentist or orthodontist who can do a 3D scan of your mouth. This involves using a wand to scan all your teeth. The scanner then recreates your mouth in 3D. You take that digital file, send it off to Blizzident, and they get to work. The Blizzident toothbrush is not cheap. It costs $339 US or $450 Canadian, and it's recommended you replace it once a year. Replacement brushes cost about $170 US or $220 Canadian, since they already have your teeth on file. There's of course also the cost of those 3D scans. They can go from about 75 to 150 bucks or more depending on the dentist. While it is a bit difficult to get used to, I really love the idea behind the Blizzident toothbrush. It just makes so much more sense to me that you can brush your entire mouth in six seconds with this device by brushing it all at once, rather than taking two or three minutes with a manual or an electric toothbrush. I did wonder why it's made of such rigid hard plastic because that was one of my bigger problems with getting it into my mouth was it's it just doesn't give it doesn't bend and then I started thinking about it and wondered if the reason for that is that the rigid hard plastic is the only thing that's going to hold these bristles in at exactly the right angle it needs to give your mouth that special custom deep clean that's my non-scientific deduction about why that is Overall, though, I really like the brush. The price point, though, I think is going to be the biggest barrier to people. Um, with a price tag of about $300 to almost $500, this is out of reach for most of us mere mortals. But if it's something you can afford, I think you're going to enjoy the custom experience. I enjoyed my experience with the Blizzident toothbrush. Um, I did sort of stop using it after a few weeks, and I kept going back to my old habit of my old electric toothbrush. But what I've done since then is make a point of grabbing the Blizzident a couple of times a week and making sure to give my mouth that really deep clean. So I've actually integrated it into what you might call my regular brushing routine. Now the full written review for the Blizzident is online at techgadgetscanada.com and it's got a lot more detail than I can provide in a short video review. So I hope you'll go read it, check it out, ask me any questions you might have. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was enjoyable and you liked it and found it helpful, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing as well. It helps me make more videos that hopefully you guys in YouTube land can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. I'll see you next time. Find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next video, at Erin L Y Y C.